What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Stocks Channel. My name is Corey, and tonight's episode will be your daily stock market technical analysis update. We saw the stock market relatively flat today, and we could be due for a stock market correction any day now. Could we continue to see the stock market head higher? First up, we'll take a look at the S&P 500 SPY ETF. So let's crack open this chart and see what's going on in the stock market today. All right, so first up, I just want to give a quick look at the buy alerts that I did send out to the Stocks Channel Discord members yesterday. And you can see right here, the timestamp is at 1234 p.m. yesterday. So I said Lee was a buy, XPEV was a buy, and Docu was a buy, and those are my price targets. So if you're still on the fence about joining the Discord server, go ahead and pause this video and go see what these three buys would have done if you took my suggestions and bought them yesterday. All right, so let's jump into the S&P 500 SPY ETF, and we see the price action going absolutely nowhere today, only going up about 0.02%. And we did get another price action close over that 5 EMA. So you can see there was some volatility today and at one point we were trading below the 5 EMA, but we did close back higher and over the 5 EMA and closing prices matter most. So we can still see there's a lot of bulls out there buying up the dip and this market just wants to continue to go higher and higher. We can see the trend is still very bullish and we actually have a very strong bull trend going on right now because the 5 EMA is way over the 13 EMA. So with a trend this strong and bullish price action, you don't want to try to call a top. Remember, my price target on SPY is still up here at $393, and from today's close, that still means we have about 3.75% to the upside before we hit my next price target. So with bullish price action and bullish trending, you don't want to be a bear in this market and you don't want to try to short this market. Let the price action and the trend be your friend, and right now they remain bullish. We could still find support at this $377 level and still be bullish. And we could come all the way down to the 20 simple moving average right around 372 and still find support and bounce and continue to head higher. So while it is possible we'll see volatility in this market, as long as the price action and the trend are bullish, you have to let the trend be your friend and you have to let the upside bias drive your decision making in the market. You don't want to get bearish and you don't want to sell all of your positions just because you're getting nervous and everybody's talking about a stock market correction. Is there a stock market correction coming? Absolutely. There's a stock market correction always around the corner. But that doesn't mean you try to predict exactly when it's going to happen. There's always going to be price action and the trend will tell us when it goes bearish and we'll have plenty of time to exit and then we will get more defensive and we will become more bearish on this market. But right now I remain bullish and my price target is still up there at SPY levels of 393. Next up is the NASDAQ 100 triple Q's ETF and we see the NASDAQ 100 going down about negative 0.16% today and closing just below that 5 EMA. You can see we did find support intraday at that 20 simple moving average, which is right around $311, which was a great buy the dip scenario. And if you bought that dip, you ended up higher for the day. Remember, the trend is bullish. In bullish trends, you buy the dip and you let the trend be your friend. My price target on the QQQ ETF is up here at $321 and support levels are at $312, the 20 simple moving average at $311. And if we do dip below that, there's another support level down here at $308. So there's still a ton of support below the price action in this market and the trend is still very bullish which means we're likely going to continue to head higher on the nasdaq 100. on the dow jones dia etf we went up 0.18 percent today and the price action's closing back above the 5 ema and we're on our way to our price target up here at 312 dollars so we still have upside price targets on the s p 500 the nasdaq 100 and the dow jones that have yet to be met so as far as stock market correction talk goes, why don't we let the price targets get met and then continue to watch the price action in the trend and let the data do the talking. Remember, we're objective right here on the Stocks Channel and we don't try to guess and we really don't do a lot of speculation. So as far as all three indices looking bullish, I'm going to remain bullish on this market and my upside price targets remain in effect. Next up is the VIX, which is our fear indicator, and we see the VIX getting absolutely crushed down lower, going down negative 3% and finding resistance right where you would expect it at that 24.8 level. So the VIX is a fear level and the fear continues to head lower, which means the stock market's likely to continue to head higher. Look for the VIX to start heading down to support at this $20 level. Next up is the ARK ETF and we saw the ARK ETF going up 2% today and it's on our way to our price target up here at $144. Again, bullish price action over the 5 EMA and a very strong bullish trend. So while there is a lot of risk in the ARK ETFs, you really can't call a top and as long as they're bullish, you can continue to make money in these ETFs. So look for ARK ETF to get up here to 144 and if it breaks and closes over that, it could be heading all the way up to 149. Next up is the US dollar and we saw the US dollar finally finding resistance at that previous daily higher high back here at 90.6 and we did close down on support today. So you can see all of these moving averages are all bunched up together which means there's a strong confluence area right there. 
That could be a strong support or it could mean that we're going to continue that bear trend soon. So right now we're not going to guess, but we do have a long term bear trend, which usually will push the price action in the direction of the trend. So we don't have a short term bull trend just yet, but we are in a possibility of a reversal. If the dollar starts bouncing from here and the price action continues higher tomorrow, we could see a short term bull trend developing. So right now the dollar is at a pivot point and we're going to see very soon if the dollar is going to continue to weaken, which would be bullish for the stock market, or if it's going to start strengthening, which would be bearish for the stock market. Next up is gold and we see gold going up a little bit today and it finally looks like it's finding support down here off this 1826 level and starting to bounce. Gold typically sells off for three to four days at a time before heading higher and yesterday was day four so it's not that surprising to see it heading higher today. I would look for gold to continue to trend higher because we still have the benefit of a bull trend. The 20 simple moving average is over the 50 EMA which is bullish no matter how you look at it. It takes a lot of price action to push the 20 simple moving average over the 50 EMA, so I'm looking for gold to continue to head higher towards my price target up here at 1930. A break and close over 1930 means gold is likely heading back up here to our other price target at 1998. So there's still plenty of upside for gold, but we do need to make sure that this 1826 support level holds up before we get too bullish on gold. Next up is silver, and it's a very similar sign as gold. We saw four days of selling and now we bounce today and we saw silver going up 2.82% today. Just like on gold, silver has bullish trending with that 20 simple moving average way over the 50 EMA. So let's see if silver can reclaim the 20 simple moving average and get a nice close above that level right around $26 and start heading up to my price targets at $26.56 and $28. There's still a lot of upside on gold and silver, but we need to watch these support levels and make sure the price action can stay above them. Next up is Bitcoin and we see Bitcoin just really cooling off ever since it got near my price target up here at $42,700 and we are looking like we are holding up above support right around the 13 EMA and that 20 simple moving average. So Bitcoin is still looking bullish because we still have this really strong bullish trend with all of these moving averages still trending upward to the bull side. Remember the trend is your friend and I don't know how many times I have to say it but you don't want to fight the trend. So right now Bitcoin's one of those things you just want to accumulate on dips and you want to hold it for the long term. I'm still bullish on Bitcoin in the long term but that doesn't mean we can't go through a correction and see a 40 to 50 percent drop before we continue higher. So be patient on Bitcoin and if you want to own Bitcoin buy it very slowly on the dips. You don't want to buy it too fast because it can continue to drop. Next up is Amazon stock and it's still looking bearish with the price action below all the moving averages and the bearish trend is still picking up strength and gaining momentum to the downside. So I'm bearish on Amazon and I cannot suggest being a buyer of Amazon looking at this chart because it looks like it wants to continue to head lower. Watch this level down here around 3100 because that will form a daily lower low if we do close below it. That's the most critical support level on Amazon right now and it's somewhere around $3,090. So we'll go ahead and draw that support level in and if we do get a close below that level that will be a very bearish sign for Amazon stock. Next up is Apple stock and we still see Apple closing below the 20 simple moving average. Right now it does look like Apple is starting to get some bearish trending and it does look like it wants to come test the support level at the 50 EMA which is right around $124. So right now I think there's a little bit more downside left in Apple but there is another support level at $126 that it could also find support at. So right now if you want to buy Apple I would try to get it between $124 and $126 and remember it's still in a correction so it could continue to head lower. So you really want to be careful when you're trading below the 20 simple moving average and developing bearish trending because that means the stock could be reversing and starting to head down. On the financial sector we're seeing bullish price action over the 5 EMA in a very strong bullish trend. On industrials we're seeing bullish price action and bullish trending. On the healthcare sector we saw a little bit of selling today but we're still closing over the 5 EMA and we still have a very strong bullish trend. So going back to the S&P 500 you see all of the sectors are looking bullish except for the tech sector but tech was relatively flat today and really didn't see a lot of selling. So as far as the price action and the trend goes we're still very bullish we still see the dollar continuing to weaken and we see the VIX going lower which means there's lower fear in this market. So right now there's a lot of people trying to call a top and they're calling for a stock market correction but I don't think we're there just yet. This market wants to go higher so watch my price target up here at spy levels of 393 and that doesn't mean that we have to hit that price target before the correction. So I still want you to remain disciplined and I still want you to have a cash position on the ride up to 393. The last thing you want to do is get too overconfident on this market because it loves to trick you. While I do think we will likely go up to spy levels of 393, it could be a very bumpy ride on the way there and it could take a long time to get there. So don't make any assumptions and don't take anything for granted in this market. And remember there's the Stocks Channel Discord community if you're looking for a disciplined and profitable trading community to trade with. 
we're absolutely crushing this market. So if you haven't already, check us out by clicking on the link in the description of this video. So next up, let's take a look at the Stocks Channel Hot Stocks. All right, our first hot stock of the night will, of course, be Tesla stock. And we did see Tesla looking bullish today, going up 4.72%. Again, with Tesla, as long as we have bullish price action and bullish trending, I'm just going to continue to raise my price targets. So we saw Tesla blasting through 848, which means my next price target is up here at $903. And I do think Tesla is going to get there very soon. Look at the price action and look at the trend. This is a very strong bullish trend on Tesla and it's just absolutely roasting everybody who tries to short this stock. Believe me when I tell you that shorting Tesla stock is a terrible idea. I don't know how many times I have to tell people that because I've been saying it all the way down here since the high 500s and low 600s when people were swearing to me that Tesla stock was overvalued and it was time to short it. Don't short the stock, do yourself a favor, and if you want to short Tesla, go ahead and just give me your money and I'll light it on fire for you. So look for Tesla to go to $900 in the very near future, or look for this chart to start breaking down and showing bearish tendencies. Closing over the 5 EMA and a strong bullish trend are not bearish tendencies, so why would you try to short this stock? Like I said with the S&P 500, don't try to call a top, just let the trend be your friend and ride it out. So there's definitely a lot of risk in Tesla stock as it reaches the fifth wave and it is reaching a top eventually, but who knows where it's going to be. So if you're not in this stock, I can't suggest chasing it, but if you already own this stock, I can't suggest selling it. So congratulations to all of you Tesla bulls and I hope you're enjoying the wild ride. Next up is Neo stock and we saw Neo stock going down negative 1.05% today, but it really just went way too far, way too fast and blasted right through my price target of $61 and went straight to 67. So the one thing about Neo that makes me a little cautious is that we did open two giant gaps down here, which I am expecting for Neo to fill, which are around $59 and down here around $55. So I really don't suggest buying NEO at these levels, even though it could go back to the price target of 67 and possibly even blast through that and go to 70, there is a ton of risk in this stock. So we're still going to remain bullish on this stock, just like I said with Tesla stock, because the price action is bullish and the trend is bullish. However, I can't stress it enough that there is a ton of risk in this stock. And if you're not in it, I really don't want to see you chasing it. Remember, we bought the stock down here in the low 40s and we rode it all the way up to $61 and it even exceeded my price target and got to 67. So that by definition is a successful trade and there's no reason to get greedy and try to chase a trade that we've already made a ton of profit on. So if you missed that move, I'm sorry, but I gave you all of the information you needed to know when to buy and when to sell and all you had to do was follow along. So like I said, watch those gaps, watch those support levels, and watch those upside price targets because with this bullish chart, NEO can continue to run. Next up is Palantir stock, and I know a lot of you are waiting to get into this stock, and it may be getting close to time. So let's take a look at the price action, and we can see that we finally did close over the 20 simple moving average, and we can see that the 5 EMA is starting to close over the 13 EMA, so we're starting to get a bullish crossover. This stock has only closed over the 20 simple moving average for one day. So I'm not saying jump into the stock just because we finally closed over the 20 simple moving average. Don't take this personally, but there is a lot of dumb money in this stock and this stock could easily be trying to set up a bull trap before it heads back down to my real price target at $21. So we really need to switch over to a one hour chart to see what's going on. And we can see it is starting to peek its head out over this consolidation wedge. And it does look like it wants to make a bullish breakout. However, there is a ton of false breakouts in the market and you really need to be disciplined and let this breakout confirm itself by seeing the price action close over the breakout, come back down, test the breakout as support, and then continue higher. There's also going to be a resistance level very soon at $26.75 just above. So there's still going to be plenty of opportunities to get into this stock, but let's wait for the confirmation of the bullish breakout before we try to buy it. So back to the daily chart, you can see there is support down here at $21 and the 50 EMA is also down in that same range. So there is support below, but we could also be starting to break out and running from here. So just in a couple more days of more price action, I should have more clear instruction on if this stock is a buy or if it's still time to wait it out and wait for another support level. Next up is Alibaba stock. And the good news with Alibaba stock is it's down near another buying level at $225. We could still dip a little bit farther and go down to 224 but we should be running into some strong resistance on Alibaba stock and we should start bouncing soon. I'm looking for Alibaba to start bouncing from here and test the upper side of this channel somewhere around $235. 
So Alibaba is still a great trading stock. And in the end of this run, I do expect to see it get up to $255. So I'm still very bullish on Alibaba stock. And I do think this is a buying scenario and it is a good time to start loading up on this stock. If Alibaba breaks out to the downside, the next buying opportunity is down here at $216, which I would only want to double down on my position and buy even more. Next up is Zoom stock, ticker symbol ZM. And if you were paying attention last night in hot stocks, I introduced Zoom to you for the very first time as a hot stock. And right on cue, we saw Zoom blasting out of the gates today, going up 5.66%. So Zoom is coming into some resistance levels right here at the 13 EMA at 358. And we will have more resistance at 362 just above. However, I am extremely bullish on Zoom stocks, and I have no doubt that Zoom is going to have no problem getting up here to 382. So watch these resistance levels at 362 and 382. And my real price target I'm trying to get to is up here at $418. So there's still plenty of upside in this hot stock if you didn't get into it this morning. But I don't want you chasing something that you missed out on. So try to get it on the dips and try to get it at lower levels. And there is support down here at 337. Do I think we're going to get back to that level? I doubt it, but you never know. So be disciplined and don't chase something just because you missed it. So if you want more hot stocks on the ground level, consider joining the Stocks Channel Discord. You can find out how to join by clicking on the link in the description of this video. Remember to stay disciplined in this market and position yourselves for a correction because it could be here at any point. I really hope you're all crushing this market and making a ton of profits. And as always, I will see you in the next episode.